Hi guys, I'm here at the Lionel Wynn Art Theatre for the inauguration of Kala, a platform for South Asian arts. It's open to the public view from the 29th January to 25th February 2024. I'm your host Taliba Khader and stay tuned for more. Hi everyone, I'm here with Mariam Begum now. Hi, how are you doing today? I'm doing well, thank you. Can you tell us a bit about the exhibition that you have curated for Kala? Definitely, most happily. So for Kala's inaugural exhibition, we are engaging with Lionel Wen's works and also his peers and contemporary artists of Sri Lanka. The idea is that to celebrate Lionel Wen and his legacy, the vision he had, at the same time, also recognize his very individualistic and experimental style and also celebrate the importance he plays in South Asia as an artist and the role he played in um, gathering the 43 group and the vision that he had for nurturing the arts in Sri Lanka. So through Pivot Glided Echo, we get this opportunity to celebrate eight decades of Sri Lankan art through the works of his peers and his contemporaries and we have 19 artists whom we are showing in this exhibition and uh, what we hope everybody would do is engage through the different trajectories um, of exploration that these artists have um, because the way in which we have thought about this exhibition is to um, guide the viewer through the aesthetic sensibilities and also the creative pursuits that Wen had and to see resonances and uh, echoes that they share with the uh, went. So essentially when we have viewers coming into this exhibition, what they, we would like for them to do is to celebrate the arts of Sri Lanka, what we've had for the past eight decades, and also see the different connections that they have across each other. The arts looked very, look very nostalgic and they're amazing pieces, kudos to you. Thank you so much for this. Thank you, thank you so much. I'm here with Liz Fernando, one of the artists for Kala. Hi, how are you doing today? Hi, I'm good. I'm very good. I'm quite excited. Um, yeah, looks like it. And also, tell me a bit about the experience that you had to go through with the, the whole exhibition. Okay, um, so it started about six, seven months ago when the curator, Mariam Begum, uh, approached me and asked me and presented to me the um, idea and the process. And um, yeah, since then it was quite an interesting journey and a really nice cooperation with the team from Kala. And um, it's um, really impressive to see finally all coming together and be amongst all these wonderful artists and kind of narrate um, a new beginning for Sri Lankan art. Yeah. What do you think about the platform that Kala has given you to reflect your mind through art? Um, in my case, because I'm a diasporic artist, um, I feel that it has given, just to include us, to embed us in that Sri Lankan narrative or into arts is really something that I appreciate. So we are not on the boundaries. So it's also seen that even Sri Lanka expands, of course it's an island, but of course it expands um, towards the world and we have big communities outside of the island. And to include our narrative into this and our storytelling into this, it's really, really um, interesting, engaging, challenging, and yeah, and I'm personally quite thankful for this. Yes. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. Thank you for all this and thank you for joining with us. Thank you so much. Thank you and I hope you will enjoy. Hello. I'm here with Ronil Pieris now, the chairman for Lionel Wind Art Gallery. Hi, how are you doing today? Hi, good. I'm good. Happy to have the exhibition. For sure. And also, what do you think about collaborating with Saskia Fernando today? Well, actually, uh, Saskia was chosen, I think, mostly because she's very young. And uh, as you may know, the Lionel Wind has been in operation. This, this particular center has been in operation from about 1948 and actually got really activated in the 50s, in the early 50s. 
so over the years, I would say the Lionel went uh, art center has, what shall I say, it has got a little old. Uh, and uh, I think uh, the trustees felt what we needed was uh, some uh, something to enliven the spirit of the Lionel Went Art Center, give it a little bit of a buzz. So one of the things that we did was by getting a young person like Saskia, who uh, giving that kind of buzz to, to a place. So that's how we collaborated with her, really. That's how she was chosen. Island. And also, just talking about the future plans for Lionel Went, uh, what do you have in mind? Well, we have some exciting plans. <clears throat> we actually want to try to create a much larger lobby space and we want to try to have it uh, you see, once upon a time we had something called the Art Centre Club where all the artists used to come and uh, it was a watering hole for artists where they, a lot of new ideas came up. Unfortunately, you know, life has moved on, the, the things have moved on in life. So actually, this lobby space that we are standing in here, we are actually trying to expand it and make it much larger uh, and have it maybe 1,500 where we can have lots of big events and we can allow artists to probably maybe display their works even for next to nothing because when you have to hire a gallery it costs a little bit of money but we will try to give young artists the opportunity to display their stuff and by having something like a cafe where you can get coffee maybe a, a wine a beer some sandwiches and things like that all these are uh, the, the people we want to try to get people to start coming and visiting the lionel went on a regular basis you know uh, to come and spend time here and hopefully some of these artists and the theater people will also come and uh, develop their ideas and with those ideas come out with more uh, uh, interesting plays and things like that uh, you know and uh, so so I, I think that those are some of the exciting things that we would like to do in the future that's very interesting and ho i hope you achieve all of that thank you so much for all of this and thank you so much for joining with us thank you Robert. Hi everyone, I'm here with Radisha Daluata, Director of Marketing, Cinema and Life. Hi, how are you doing today? Good, good. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Tell me a bit about the collaboration between uh, Kala. Um, so, Cinema and Life has actually come in as a founding partner uh, to this platform. Um, and art is something that we really believe in. Uh, we think it's a huge part of culture. And of course, at Cinema and Life, uh, in being in hospitality, being in um, that kind of industry, I think translating our culture and taking it global is something that we're really important, um, uh, you know, that's of really huge importance to us. So, it just kind of made sense in terms of coming in as a founding partner. Also, what do you think about this today's exhibition? Oh, I think, uh, I mean, in terms of the support that um, Saskia and the entire Kala team has managed to get together was really mind-blowing. Uh, it's really encouraging to see this as a start to the South Asian movement of artists. Um, and I think in terms of the curation today, it was it was honestly some beautiful pieces to see. I think if, if you guys haven't seen it, you should definitely come by and check it out. But um, I think Lionel Vent being really ahead of his time was, was uh, something that really spoke to me. So I think it, it was definitely some eye-opening pieces. Uh, beautiful curation for sure. Yeah. That's amazing. Thank you so much for joining with us. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you for this.